Soil Solutions Training for Teachers is brought to you by 4-H, the Durham County Extension Master Gardener Volunteers, and the Cooperative Extension Service of Durham, North Carolina. Seeds have a protection basically around them that is called a seed coat. And what this does is it allows the seed to be in a lot of different environments with actually have, not having to start germinating until it's the actual optimum uh, time for the seed to germinate. What we're going to do today is change the dormancy of the seed and we're going to talk about how to, how, the, how to rid ourselves of that hard seed coat or how to help that seed coat to dissolve. Um, in nature, what would happen is it would be through the seed being in a freezing condition and then thawing and it opens up the seed coat or perhaps it's going, it's been something that, a seed that's been eaten by an animal. And what they'll end up doing is when they release that seed, it will have gone through their digestive system, which is acidic. And so then it will actually um, come out and it'll be, um, the seed cut will have dissolved as well. So what we want to do is try and figure out how a horticulturalist or a scientist dissolves the seeds because they don't have those natural methods but they do have some methods and what they do is they can break the seed coat by using very hot water and they'll allow the seed to sit in the hot water so let's try that okay we've we've heated this water in the microwave and now we're going to put the seeds in it but they need to sit for a little time. They need to sit for about an hour in order for them to start to break down the seed coat to soften. And I've done that actually at home and I wanna just show you quickly how this has changed. And also the seed, cha the seed size has changed also. I started off with seeds that were about this size and now the water has kind of made them expand. So the seed coat is there, but now I can feel it's rather soft and the seed coat I can peel it right off and then inside is the seed. And you can also see how it has begun to germinate. Now the other th method of doing this is actually with an acid, which would be akin to an animal actually having uh, digested the seed. And that is using vinegar. Now vinegar is a, a, an acid and it breaks down the seed coat as well. And let me show you, not only did it change the uh, seed coat on this, on this particular black bean seed, but it also changed the color of the seed and it also expanded the seed. It was actually, um, became a larger seed. And again, it has made it so that I can pretty easily remove that seed coating. Now, the other thing that we might try is a method called percussion, where I'm actually going to take a seed and hit it as hard as I can. And I might use my hand or I might use my shovel and actually see if I can break that seed coat. So I'll do a little begging on that. You can see how that seed coat has begun to crack. And so the water, when the moisture goes into it, will help that seed to expand. And the other thing that I have that, that horticulturalists use when they're trying to grow seeds with a hard seed coat is actually to take a piece of sandpaper and they'll rub that seed against the sandpaper and, and it will cause the seed coat to open up and then you'll be able to see the inside of the seed. Now you will do the same thing. Each one of your students will actually be able to try these different methods and then what we're going to do is plant the seeds. What we'll do is we'll we have these different pots, and this all has potting soil in it, which is a very loamy soil. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll plant the seed that we use the hot water method. We'll put a seed in there and, and push that down in just about the same distance as the seed is big. You might want to do two or three. Cover them over. Now what we want to do is make sure, again, we need moisture to make these grow, and we need light and oxygen. So I'm going to go ahead and spray, not with the vinegar, <laughs> I'm going to spray these with water. And then we're going to set them aside and each student will fill out 
Remember what they did the, during the last lesson? They had the scientific report. Well, this is also a report. This is a scientific report. And they will put all of their hypothesis, what they're working with, their research, their hypothesis, what the experiment is showing them. They'll collect their data. Um, they'll explain the data. And basically, they'll talk about whether their data was supported by, or their hypothesis was actually supported by the data that they got. So, and then they might have some questions that they would like to have answered based on their information. So this is a very important part. And again, this is exactly the way a horticulturalist or a scientist would be interested in finding out information. And you know, it does help a lot. It shows them how there's a, a part on here that actually gives them the opportunity to do a bar graph, which is something that I think they cover in math in third grade.